So in the last video, we styled our elements, taking away the bullet points, created our main.css file. So now we're going to do a couple more list styles here. First of all, I want you to see that referencing the UL tag, referencing the entire list and saying list style none is the same thing as referencing each list element and saying that each list element will have no list style. So it works the same. And we're going to do it this way because we're going to add some more styles here. First of all, we want actually want all three of our lists to display inline. If you can see here, we want it to display in the same row. So each list will be displayed in the same row. And here they're displayed what we call block, meaning each list item has its own row. So we're going to set the display here, display to inline. And you can see that instead of displaying on its own row, now they're all in a row. And you can see also over here, there's a little bit more spacing in between each element. So let's put a little bit more spacing in between each of these list items. We're going to do it with the padding. So with padding style, basically we can reference all of the sides of an element or just one or a few sides. Let me show you. So if we just put padding 10 pixels, you can see that it took padding on every side or it added padding on every side of each list item. So if we want to reference just one side, let's say we want to do uh, padding right, you can see it only added the 10 pixels to the right. And there's other shorthand ways of doing this, so we'll talk about later. So we just want padding on either side right now, not on the top or bottom. So let's do padding right and padding left. And put just put those to 10 pixels each. Great. You can see there's a little bit more padding here on all of our lists. Now specifically, we're going to style the header list. So let's reference our header here. And we want to move it to the right. Now, there's a couple different ways we could do this. We could use something called a float and right. And what that does is it moves out of the normal flow of the page and just floats right and everything else moves around it kind of. So you can see here it kind of messed up our layout, which wasn't that pretty to begin with. So we're actually going to undo that and use a different method. Another method is there's a couple different types of positioning, um, which we won't talk about all of them. But in order to position and tell it we want it at the top, we need to use position relative or absolute or fixed instead of the default. So we're just going to call it relative. And now we can say we want top zero and we want the text align to be right. And now the text aligns to the right of the page instead of to the left, which is default. And now it's a little bit close to the right margin of the page, so, page, so we're just going to add a little bit of a margin right here. And we're going to add, let's say, 20 pixels. Great. Looks much better. So this just moved it away from the wall. You can also do margin right, margin top, margin bottom the same as we did padding over here. So now that we styled our header here, let's style the middle of the page. 